Hi, welcome to our Precious Plastic instructional video. Hi, I'm Gemma. Hi, I'm Razius. And I'm Ritesh, and today we're here to show you how you can start your own little recycling workspace to turn single-use plastics like these into something cool like that. And... A clipboard. Clean Up Nepal with the support of EWAG have adopted the Precious Plastic Initiative so that anyone in Nepal can replicate this low-cost project. Before we jump into the method, we would like to acknowledge Mark, an environmental engineer from Switzerland, and his helping hand Suman, because they are the ones that replicated the precious plastic devices from locally sourced materials. On the screen you can see the compression machine that we use to compress melted plastics into flat surfaces, the oven, and on the left the temperature regulating device. Now what we're going to do is wash the acquired plastics with the help of a simple detergent. Soak the plastics into the detergent water overnight and wash them thoroughly by tearing them apart and removing any form of stickers in the plastic. Take a metal rod and attach a string through it. Take the washed plastics and stack them on top of each other. With the help of the rope, slide the plastics from the metal rod to the rope. Find a drying surface and spread the plastic apart so they can dry easily and properly. Leave them to dry overnight. Today we're going to make a flat surface so we can turn it into a stool. Measure the plastic approximately 700 to 800 grams. Next, set the oven to 215 degrees Celsius and let the oven heat up for 30 minutes. Now we're going to take the weighted plastic and put it in a melting tray for the purposes of melting the plastic. We do recommend melting your plastic directly into the mold because handling melted plastic dough can be very very difficult. Put your mold inside the oven and close the oven. Keep checking your mold at different intervals. Before taking out your mold, we do recommend wearing a safety mask and heat resistant gloves because handling a hot mold can be very very dangerous. Take out the mold and check on the plastic. If it is melted, we'll begin the compression process. As you can see, the mold is now ready and we're going to put the second part of the mold for the compression process. Very carefully put it in the compression machine and begin the compression very very gently. We do recommend compressing the mold very very gently because quick compression may lead to your product breaking in half. Now that you have compressed your product, we will wait for it to cool down. Take a note that we don't want the mold to completely lose the heat because the product will stick to the mold. Take your mold and place it on the work table. Now we'll remove the product from the mold. As you can see, our engineer is using very sharp tools to remove the product from the mold, so we caution you to be very careful. After removing the top part of the mold, we're going to separate the edges that are stuck to the mold using a sharp blade or a very sharp instrument. After more chiseling, we can see that we have created our products. Now we're going to use an electrical grinder to make the edges of the product really really smooth and turn it into the flat surface that we need. For the stool, you're going to need three rectangular molds. Two are going to be used as a foundation or the base and one is going to be used for the seat above.
So these are the steps that you're going to follow to create your own precious plastic products. The workspace doesn't need to be so big, and the team doesn't need to be so big either. All right, thank you for watching our instructional video. I hope you guys can create your own small projects. And if you do make your creations, please do tag us on Clean Up Nepal page, which is on Facebook and Instagram. Do share this video with as many people as you can because we're trying to save the world one plastic at a time. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye.